Tim Tebow is the most polarizing sports figure in the country. People either hate him or love him. There doesn't seem to be an in-between. The question is, why would anybody hate this guy? First and foremost, I just have to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, uh, you know, and thank my teammates. If you're not a sports fan, Tim Tebow is the starting quarterback of the Denver Broncos. But the reason he's polarizing has little to do with his job. It has to do with his faith. Tebow is the son of an evangelical pastor. He is known for wearing Bible verses under his eyes, for being a 24-year-old virgin, and for praying on the field in a pose now known as the Tebow, and for making this Super Bowl ad with his mother that was pro-life. I call in my miracle baby. He almost didn't make it into this world. I can remember so many times when I almost lost him. Tebow is being attacked because most Christian evangelicals support the Republican Party. And in a country split by red state, blue state, he is feeling both the praise and the derision of that divide. Even other NFL players have mocked the Tebow prayer pose. Other NFL players who routinely perform goofy, self-aggrandizing, celebratory, look-at-me dances after the most minor success on the field, make fun of someone who praises God for his success. Well, know this. Since Tim Tebow has taken over as starting quarterback of the Denver Broncos, the team has gone from last place to first place. And Tebow has led them in five miraculous last-minute comebacks. His personal statistics are just average. So what makes him a winner? Could be. Some of those NFL players who mock Tebow might want to start really praying. It couldn't hurt. And we all need to be more tolerant. Accept this young man as a positive role model when positive role models are few and far between, no matter his faith. You can dislike him or boo him because he's a Denver Bronco and he beats your team. That's fair, that's sports. But to root against him for what he believes, well, that's something ugly. That's religious intolerance. And that's not supposed to be what we're about on or off the field.